Tonight, Jay's back and he's all new with Dennis Leary, Jennifer Garner, and Headlines. Also this week, Rudy Giuliani. Then on Conan, Gwyneth Paltrow, and from Scrub, Zach Braff tonight. We're back at 8.30 on a Monday morning. It's the 14th day of January 2002. Lots of balloons in the plaza area, lots of festivity. The reason being that all morning long, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of this program we call today. And right now you're listening to Frank Sinatra singing the most beautiful girl in the world, which was a big hit 50 years ago, back in 1952. So we thank our blue eyes for helping us celebrate. And we want to thank all the people oh for bringing this. What was that? For bringing the signs down that wished us a happy anniversary. Some people went a little further. Can you take a look at these cakes? Look at this beauty right here. Did you make this? It's, it's actually it's a Pillsbury cake we brought for the. 50th anniversary oh, to help you celebrate, and uh, it brought it all the way down. You're blocking the cake. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll do the Thank you. <laughs> it's really good. I actually took a little taste of the icing. It's fantastic. Delicious. Delicious. And look at and look at this one. This is beautiful. Not edible. No, not edible. We made it inside at Irene Hayes. It's oh, absolutely great. gorgeous. Thank you, Matt. We thank, thank you, you so much. We've got to move on because we've thank got you. a very special person who is wants to wish us well. Down the block, I understand that Jane oh, okay. Clayson is standing by. Jane, sorry right. to keep you waiting. Hi. Hi, good morning. Congratulations, you two, on a big anniversary. Thank, well, thank you very much. You look pretty good for being 50. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start with us, all right? <laughs> hey, uh, how come you're standing there or sitting there alone this morning, Jane? I know, I'm awfully lonely. Do you have a friend over there you want to show me? Well, your partner in crime has moseyed on down to our neck of the woods, as Al Roker would say, <laughs> to say hi. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, nice sweetheart. Nice to see you. How you doing? Good. All right. Thank you for coming. Uh, are you kidding? I wouldn't have missed it for the world. This is a real treat. Not I only are you here, the... but Miss Polly is here as come well. Come, Jane. Jane Polly, come on down. And actually, in this coming half hour, we're going to talk to Bryant and Jane and Joe Gary Giola are going to be here. We're going to have a little time to reminisce. I guess we're the seniors here. That's yeah. what I was yeah. We're in the senior section. I want to say a big thank you to your colleague, Jane Clayson. That was awfully gracious and sweet for her to stand by and wish us well. Jane, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Matt. How does it feel to be back, Bryant? Well, I don't know. You see, having Katie and Matt here is, means I don't have to bring a note <laughs> when I come back. See, I have an excuse. Well, you saw it here. <laughs> Jane, thanks again. Right. We appreciate it. Anyway, so we'll be chatting with you all in just a moment. Also coming up a little bit later in the program, one of our more porcine guests. Porcine? Yeah, got we, it. you can look yeah. that up later. Yeah. And yeah. her amphibious friend. I we'll gotcha. Stop by to say I hello. Gotcha. So that ought to be fun, too. But before we get to that, let's get a check of the weather from Mr. Roker. Hey, we are here, and with me is the man I, <laughs> I preceded, Mr. Willard Scott. For 17 years, you did the weather on the Today Show. Before that, Bob Ryan was here, and uh, what, what do you think of on his 50th birthday? I just want to say that I have a new Medicare program that's coming out pretty soon. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I think it's great. Have you done the bit about our weather history? Well, we actually, for time, we had to get rid of it. But uh, <laughs> Just like the old just days. Just like the old days. They're, They're always cutting the weather. Uh, yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 ah, uh, ooh. Ah. <laughs> Willard Scott, it's so good to see you. My mentor. I really Thank Let's you. take a look, show that you what's it? going on. No, well, I that, flew no, up here for that. This is it. Let's check your weather, see what's going on. You'll see for today, we got wet weather in the southeast Gulf Coast, some rain in the Pacific Northwest, snow from the plains to the Great Lakes, three to five inches in the central Great Lakes, strong winds in northern, <laughs> northern New England. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. I hope we Friday, it's birthday time. Well, we're going to do something a little different today, Al. What are we going to do? We're not going to salute people who are 100. Guess what? What? We're going to salute people who are 50, <laughs> and it's tied in with guess what? Uh, our anniversary. You old devil. Thank you so much. For, uh, almost fell over. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Our friends at Smuckers, look at this in the back of our Smuckers jar. 50 years old today. Looks like she's about 16. Elaine Walkup mm -hmm. from Long Beach, California. 50 years happy, but doesn't look at there very No, she doesn't. And take a look at Jimmy Cook. From New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans. Little crayfish, a new yeah, tooth fray, right. and a gumba daddy. I guarantee. Walk a poo poo. And we, <laughs> in 50 years. <laughs> and happy birthday. Barbara Walters. Barbara Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> Nelson of Lug Off, South Carolina, is 50 years old today. Back when you're done, I'm going to lug you off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then. Lug nut. That's <laughs> a funny word. And, and finally, Janice. Phil Meister of Princeton, New Jersey is fifth. I think Janice is over there somewhere, is but Janice? we don't have time to we show her. We can't find Janice. We can't find oh, Janice. Oh, she's over here? There yeah. she is right there. Hi, Janice. There's Janice. 
I get a birthday kiss from Ooh. Jamie. Ooh. And while Willard's Come smooching, oh my goodness, let's go back over to Katie before right, we get Al, into trouble. Thank you very much, Willard Unplugged. Still to come in this half hour, Tony Bennett's going to be here to sing us a special song. Up next, the troika of Jane Bryant and Joe G. But first, viewers have sometimes wondered why we say a certain five-word phrase every single morning. Truth is, it's a signal to our local stations to get their commercials ready. So we thought we'd get some help with that this morning. So... This is Today at NBC in New York. Good morning, this is Today. This is Today on NBC. But first, this is Today on NBC. This is Today on NBC. But first, this is Today on NBC. This is Today on NBC. NBC4, now broadcasting from the Empire State Building. This morning, we're happy to welcome back three friends who have more than 35 years of Today experience between them. Dateline NBC anchor Jane Pauley began on Today in the fall of 1976. She was a very small child at the time. She was here for 13 years. Joe Garagiola served as Today's all-around good guy from 1966 to 72, then again from 1990 through 1993. He is still a Today contributor. Then there's a guy from another network. We can't give you its name, but its initials are CBS. <laughs> Brian Gumbel served longer than any other host on Today for 15 years from 1982 till 1997. <laughs> Jane, Joe, Brian, good morning. Who are those young people? Happy anniversary to all of you Thank as well. You. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Joe, you're the oldest one here. Yeah, but he you know, always is. He's always the oldest wait a minute, one. Wait a minute. You're the elder statesman. That's okay, but being bald, I didn't change that much. These guys <laughs> changed. <laughs> Bald news common for me. Give me 10 oh. seconds on Jane Pauley's first day. What'd you think? Would she last? W would I last? No, uh, would she last? Well, I thought she would last because I thought easily, working with Bryant easily. How about Mr. Gumbel's first day? What do you remember oh. about that? Oh, well, we had <laughs> talked before he got on the show. The All-Star Game in Cleveland. At the All-Star Game, yeah. we had talked about it. And he came to me and he said, uh, they're talking to me about the Today Show. What do you think? I said, you got to take it. What do you mean, I got to take it? I said, you got to take it. You got to do it. And, and that was the beginning. Jane, you were 25? I was a very young 25. 25. 25. I, was, I was an impossibly young 25. Look at that. Look at that. I look like I'm 17. So wait, if we do the math, then? <laughs> yeah. Don't. Do yeah. Yeah. Replacing just, Barbara Walters. If Bryant does the math, I'll still be younger than he is. Yeah. Um, oh, you missed that picture. How much pressure that first day? Um, Tom Brokaw uh, was a buffer. Barbara Walters had started on ABC with a million dollar salary. That helped. <laughs> Never enough. I really, I suffered for years before I, I would come here every morning, as I said before to Ken. I, why me? I'm Jane Pauley from Indianapolis. From, well, I was almost going to say Warren Central High School, which I just did. I can't tell you how out of place I felt for many years. And, and when you think about going from that mindset, I don't belong here, I'm from, you know, this small place, to covering things like the royal wedding on this show, must have been an amazing morning. That morning uh, was amazing for another reason that nobody knew but Brokaw. I was pregnant, did not feel good, and unfortunately that was the pregnancy that was leaked to the media a week before I miscarried. Mm. So I look at that and I, that's, I have a different experience looking at that day than anybody else. So many guests you interviewed over the years and Joe you were with and Bryant you were with and I don't think there's a more impressive guest than to be greeted on the air by the Pope. He's as a good friend of Joe. <laughs> as, <yeah. laughs> as you two were, what do you remember from that trip? Um, I was holding, I mean, here I am talking about children again. I was holding a picture of, of my twins uh, for the Pope to bless, which is, I guess, what Bryant told me people did. And I say the, the word in Italian, Gemelli, and he you know, did. <laughs> it means ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he looked at you funny when you went, Chimelli. And he looked at you like, <laughs> he still was Panettone. <laughs> <laughs> Bryant, 1982. You, you're a sportscaster. Yeah. First African American to hold the hosting chair on this job. You called Joe. You said, what should I do? How was the first day for you? You know, Matt, the first day was really strange only because I, I'd come into it with no sleep. I mean, I, d I think that weekend I had done the Rose Parade and then proceeded on there to an AFC championship game and had done that and had flown in. I think I arrived something like midnight 
the night before from doing the AFC Championship game. So I didn't really have a lot of time to, to think about it before the first day. I mean, it was just... It, Am I right, though? You didn't worry about not preparing because whatever we did that day went away. There had been a plane crash. No, no, no. That, that was that was day? 10 days later. Oh, only 10 days later. That's right. When we did the 30th anniversary program, remember that? Okay. The, the night before, we were having a party at Tavern on the That's Green. Right. Uh, Dave Garraway and everybody was there, and uh, that was when the plane crashed in Washington, the Eastern Airlines plane crash. But you uh, know how that happens. Whenever you know news breaks, throw everything else everything out the window. The worst away. thing is if you read a book, a big thick book, and they say the author's canceled. Oh, no, no, I read the book. I'm going to his house. <laughs> Especially for you. He's going to tell me. It's easy for you to say it. But, oh, that used to always get me say, well, he's not going to be on. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. I would kill you. That's my second book this year. That's right. I, I mean, I had a whole book report. I never. Martin Mayer wrote the book, The Lawyers, that thing. Never forget it. And I interviewed him. <laughs> yeah, did you read good. the book? I'm glad you did. Absolutely, I read it. You know, because they thought I was. I don't mean just the jacket. I mean the book. The I read the whole book. Really? I read the whole book. 1994. Earthquake in Los Angeles yeah. happens on the air. What do you remember? Yeah, it was it was a strange time for us. I mean, because it, it happened while we were on the air, and then we we went out the next day. Um, and wound up uh, going out there to cover it. Um, you know, Matt, as you well know, a lot of these things, uh, a lot of your memories are from those events, you know, from the assassination of Indira Gandhi, uh, from when they had uh, fighting in the streets in Moscow, from when there was the disturbances following the Rodney King verdict. Um, the ones you always remember are the ones where you're, you're kind of flying by the, the seat of your pants. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it's, it's nice that, that what happens, all the effort that so many people involved with this program put into it, winds up going through you. Moscow, trip you. You received enormous critical acclaim, awards for your interviews while you were over there. Highlight for you? High point in your tenure here? You know why it was a highlight, Matt? Because I, mean, I, I think up until then, um, most people felt that I, I couldn't interview anybody um, tougher than an inside linebacker. <laughs> um, and so I, I think the, the, the fact that I was able to, to go there and not embarrass myself for a week um, altered a lot of folks' opinions about um, what I could and couldn't do in an interview, in a serious interview format. And we all watched as you got emotional at the end of the Africa trip, which is something you'd pushed for for so many years. Jane, I was touched in the Ken Burns piece. This is Africa again, and this is when you closed with Dave Garraway's simple word of peace. And we will use it just this one time. I'm going to try it just this once. For Africa and from Africa, peace. If I had any sense, I would have shut up because the picture was too pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, in, in Ken Burns' tape, you said... The, the toughest part for you was leaving. I did, didn't know he was going to ask the question. That was an absolutely spontaneous response. Uh, it was. I, I think um, as much as I adore Dateline, and I've been there for almost 10 years now, um, at the end of my career, uh, the invitation I almost want to get is January 14th. I want to be invited back. Uh, I love being a member of the Alumni Association. Um, this was this was the the core of my career here. Joe, if someone had come to you back in 1966 and said, you are going to be a part of this show still in January of 2002. I would not have believed it because I was like Bryant. They all, all I thought I could say was curveball, spitball, mm -hmm. passes and stuff like that. And, and when they, they showed confidence and put me in that spot. But you know the great thing about this show? I always remember when my mother died. We were on the set. I was with Hugh and Barbara. And, and I just couldn't go on anymore. And when the viewers heard that my mother had died, I was just inundated, inundated with sympathy cards among Muhammad Ali writes me a handwritten one. And I'm saying, you know, you talk about from Indiana. Here's a kid when they talk to Yogi and me, said, what'd you guys do if you weren't playing baseball? Probably doing five to 10. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you became part of a are. lot of families. Huh? You became a lot of families. Joe Garagiola, Jane Pauley, Mr. Gumbel. Hey, Good to see you all. Happy anniversary to you as well. Thank you, Matt. 46 past. Up next, another legend, Tony Bennett. But first, this is the 50th anniversary of today on NBC. Today's concert is brought to you by America's Egg Farmers and the incredible Edible Egg. Fifty years ago, a young crooner named Anthony Dominic Benedetto topped the charts with his hit song, Because of You. Better known as Tony Bennett, he's been one of the Today Show's favorite guests through the years. Still going strong with the CD, Playing With My Friends, he's just received his 20th 
Grammy nomination. Hey, Tony, nice to see <laughs> nice you. To see How you. are you? Oh, I should say happy anniversary to you because this is your 50th year yes. in show business right. and you're still going strong. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Very <laughs> yeah, I'm he very says. Yes, I yeah. am. Why do you think you're attracting so many young listeners these days? Well, uh, they never, you know, they hear I sing Cole Porter or Gershwin or Harold Allen or, you know, Irving Berlin. And they think they're new songs. They say, Who wrote that? They can't believe it. <laughs> that guy's pretty good. I yeah, think he right. has the future. <laughs> Meanwhile, 20 Grammy nominations. I mean, do you have any room left on your mantle? Is it oh, still a thrill for you? It is. You know, it's a, it's a, I count my blessings completely. You know, I just, uh, it's wonderful that the public's been so good to me right through the years. This one's for your duet with Billy Joel, right? right. This Grammy nomination yeah, for New York is. State of Mind, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Meanwhile, it, you, it's been such a thrill for me in my oh, decade thanks. on the show to have you as, as a special guest. And You know, my favorite of all the years that I've been on NBC what? is when you and I did... Uh, they all laughed at Rockefeller Oh, Center. when you helped me with my, my, my fledgling singing, fledgling and short-lived singing career. Well, Tony, what are you going to be singing for us this morning? Well, uh, how about the first song? Uh, it was uh, for 13 weeks. It was number one in the 50s. And it was a song called Because of You. Well, it's very appropriate. Okay. Tony Bennett and all his pals. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. of you There's a song in my heart Because of you My romance had its start Because of you The sun will shine Moon and stars will say you're mine Forever and never to part I only live for your love and your kiss It's paradise to be near you like this Because of you My life is now worthwhile And I can smile because of you Because of you My life is now worthwhile And I can smile Because Tony Bennett. Thank Tony, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you, too. Thanks, guys, so much. That was great. You'll be back a little bit later with a special birthday wish. We'll be back in a moment, but first, this is Today on NBC. Thank you, guys. Because of you. Coming up in our next half hour, talk about Material Girl. One of our favorite felt friends will stop by and she's bringing a frog with her. Trying to be nice, okay? <laughs> We're going to try to write past wrongs. Also, you, the viewers, give us your favorite memories of today. But first, these messages and a look at your local news. Tonight on NBC Nightly News, a special series, How Secure Is Your Job? If you get laid off, could you find work? I will take any job that I can find. Times are tough, but help is wanted. New ways to get work, change careers, even land your first job. Working in America, NBC Nightly News tonight.